Hello, hello everyone and welcome to your 31 days of yoga revolution. It's day 14 and today we practice forgiveness. Let's get started. All right, my darling friends, welcome back. We're going to begin today with a little massage. You're in luck. So we're just gonna start with one leg, any leg you can choose, and you're gonna take your thumbs and just kind of keep the fingers soft. In fact, let's do this. Let's begin with a little movement, creating a little energy, sit up nice and tall. And then when you're ready, take your thumbs and the other fingers will remain soft and you're just gonna move your thumbs starting at the ankle, the Achilles, and you're gonna move them all the way up the calf and then all the way back down a couple times. And so you've been doing great work, especially if you're new to the practice, your legs are probably, probably a bit sore. But beginning today's sequence, I practice with some self massage. So get right up in the meaty part of that muscle of the calf. Right behind the knee. And then we'll switch. And so a lot of times I'll invite you to do something and then there's something else going on. Those yoga parlor tricks to get you to really be present. So as you are giving yourself a little massage here, just notice what else is going on in your head. Can you relax your shoulders? Maybe it uh, was a task to get here today to kind of carve out this time and space for yourself. Maybe it's time for you to deepen the breath. So the art of noticing here, so just like we've been talking about as we move through the asana, we're not isolating one task or one part, one focus, but rather using that one task as a avenue or a tool to actually think about the big picture. Whoa, going deep already, day 14, right? Thinking about the body and the mind is one, the body is one moving part. Thinking about the movement is one continuous movement, which we'll get more into that here in days to come. And at the very least, if you're just like, I'm, I barely made it here, Adrian, then you're giving yourself a little massage. Activate self-love, making self-love cool again. So that was kind of my slogan last year for yoga camp. And so that is just uh, something that has rolled on into the new year, at least for me. And I invite you to consider that as we move through the next couple of days, especially. Can we activate this self-love, make it cool again? All right. Release that, come to a cross-legged seat. Hands are gonna come to the knees and we'll start with a little spinal flex here today. Think cat cow, so move nice and slow. As you breathe in, press the palms into the knees, loop the shoulders back and inhale, carve a line with your nose forward, up and back. Get a big stretch here, start to activate down through the elbows and shoulders as you lift up through the crown. And then you might close your eyes here to just visualize this line of the spine, this beautiful arc, this natural line of the spine as you lift your chest. Take a deep breath in here and then use your exhale to slowly start at the tailbone, my friends. Start at the tail and curl it in. And then I like to keep the gaze soft here, the eyes closed so I can really visualize what's going on in the spine. So there's no arbitrary movement here, but right away feeling it out. And then hang here. What's up, creaky floor? Hang here for a couple of breaths, chin to chest. If you are an OG yoga with Adrian or you've seen the very first video ever of Sukhasana, I talk about the image of Mr. Burns here working at his, well, I guess he doesn't really type on his own computer, right? He has people do that for him. <laughs> if you are not from the States, you may not know what I'm talking about. But anyway, this idea of the shoulders coming forward and this turtle shell being stuck in this posture of hunched over, collapsed in the heart space. 
So acknowledge that, feel a big stretch in the back here. Really draw your nose to your navel. One more breath. And then press down into your sitting bones. Start to slowly roll up through the spine and we'll continue this journey all the way forward, carving a line with the nose up and back, open your heart, feel the expansion in here. So sometimes less is more, you have to kind of embody this, otherwise it's just movement. So inhale to lift your heart <clears throat> and exhale chin to chest. And now you're just gonna go back and forth a couple times on your own. You can hang in the shape as long as it feels good. Maybe find soft, easy movement in between. And so this is your cat cow today, working with the spine. I will say as you lift the heart and chest, careful not to crunch the back of the neck. So that's why I say carve a line with the nose rather than drop your head back. Start to synchronize, sync up with your breath. And you can really use your hands here to get the most out of the movement, the stretch. So not only are we warming up through the front and back body, the neck and the shoulders, a little bit through the hips, <clears throat> lower back, opening the heart. We're starting to move the energy around, which is why it's so important that we tap into the breath in order to invite that movement, which is super important when we're trying to move forward. Um, Sometimes we get stuck and we don't even know it. And a lot of times we just need to go through the process of movement or forgiveness, be more forgiving, less tight and stuck so that we can uh, evolve, progress. Whew. Just getting into it today. <laughs> okay, release your spinal flex if you haven't already. And we're just gonna softly move side to side. So you'll keep the legs where they are and the lower body's gonna stay nice and grounded, stability firm and the upper body is going to move side to side. So you can use your fingertips, <clears throat> you can keep the palms on the thighs, you can go big here with some seaweed arms. So we're stretching the side body here today nice and soft and easy while still trying to maintain an awareness of the lower body. So sometimes, especially if you're new to the practice, it can feel like this, even something as simple as this. See so if you can keep the lower body kind of stern and then find a softness and a playfulness in the upper body. Meanwhile, you're getting a nice stretch in the side body. You're deepening the breath. We're starting to drop into our practice today so that we can feel awesome and amazing. All right, when you feel good, take it all the way forward onto all fours. Take the knees wide, bring the toes together, extended child's pose. Smell your yoga mat. Smell your armpits. Notice what it feels like to be alive today. <laughs> and begin to listen to the sound of your breath. You decide what feels good. So again, a thoughtfulness in the fingers, maybe active or soft. And as you deepen the breath, feel it move through you. And if you don't know what that means, see if you can explore what that means. Maybe seeing if you can feel the skin of your back stretch as you breathe in deeply. Perhaps feeling the weight of the hips relax down towards the soles of the feet as you exhale. Then you don't have to, but there's an option here before we give ourselves permission to Clear the cache and let the breath take over in our asana. You don't have to, but there's an invitation here to just consider if there's something in your life that feels stuck or something that could use a little bit of forgiving, a little softness, a little movement. And then we'll take a deep breath in, just considering whatever came up. And if nothing did, that's fine too. And then a big exhale to let it go, release. Press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, come all the way up. We're going to walk the knees underneath the hips and come all the way onto the belly. Oh, yeah. Continue to breathe deep here. So see if you can really feel your breath in your belly here. 
and slide the hands underneath the shoulders, press into the tops of the feet. Heels are hip width apart, so not together, not zipped up, but hip width apart. Then hug those elbows in, press into your pubic bone, and nice and slow, we're gonna inhale, tuck the chin, roll up, baby cobra. Use your exhale to find the wave back down. So really moving with the breath here, big inhale, press into the palms, keep the elbows hugged in, baby cobra. And exhale, wave it down. This time, focus on pressing into the feet. Start to let the breath take over. Inhale, it moves you up. And exhale, it moves you down. Press into your foundation. Inhale, moves you up. And exhale, moves you down. Keep mo moving with the breath. Notice if the shoulders are hiking up towards the ears. So anchor down, play with opposition here as you inhale, lift up. And exhale. And then just consider the spine. As it slowly moves with the breath, it becomes more forgiving perhaps. Some days more than others. More flexible. We slowly find more mobility. And in time, more ease. Wonderful. On your next inhale, stay there for one breath cycle. So we'll inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Careful that you're not muscling it here. So keep it nice and low, really integrating all the way from the crown to the tail. After one breath cycle, in and out here, we'll slowly release. Curl the toes under, press back up to all fours. Find tabletop position. Awesome work. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. I'm gonna tap into that center or your core here, light the fire. So find that rotation of the upper arm bones, press into the tops of the feet. Inhale in, gaze straight down, so long, beautiful neck here. And exhale, lift the knees and let them hover for five. Tug the shoulders back, four. Listen to the sound of your breath, three. Press into your fingertips, two. And one more breath and release, gorgeous. Curl the toes under, drop the elbows, and walk the knees back, puppy posture. Keep the elbows, the wrists, and your middle finger in line as you melt your heart down. Toes are curled under in the variation today and forehead comes to the mat or hovers above. You can find soft, easy movement, rocking gently side to side. Opening up through the chest, the shoulders. Again, keep your middle finger, your wrist, and your elbows in alignment. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Now check it out. Press, claw into your fingertips. Press into your hands and slowly, keeping the elbows on the earth, come all the way forward, Sphinx Pose. Press into the tops of the feet. Here we go again. Inhale, tuck the chin into the chest, lift up and exhale, lower down. Keep the arms where they are. Inhale, roll up, allow the breath to move you here. And exhale, slow release down. One more time, inhale, press into the tops of the toes. Lift up, stay here for one breath cycle. If you want, you can turn, draw a line with the nose one way, and then the other. And then slowly release. Awesome. Curl the toes under. Keep the forearms where they are. Wrap the shoulders around. Draw the navel to the spine as you exhale. So breathe in. Exhale. Draw the navel. Lift the hips up. Forearm plank for five, four. We got this. Reach the heels back. Three. Crown of the head forward. Two. And one. Slowly lower to the knees. Puppy posture. Really find a tilt through the pelvis. <laughs> so send those hip points high up towards the sky. Uh, curl the toes under if they aren't already and release the heart. Big breaths here to open up through the shoulders. So great for the back body. Opening the heart. You can massage your third eye by gently rocking side to side on the forehead. Lost my words there. I was feeling the kundalini vibes. Wow, I just said kundalini like with a bit of a Texas flair. Okay, big breath to lift you back up. All fours. Exhale, tabletop position. Kundalini, kundalini. People always say I have a Texas accent, but I don't really hear it. But then every now, and, every now and again, I swear it comes out. All right, let's take it to downward dog. Nice and slow. Connect the dots in a way that feels good for you. 
and start to find movement here that brings a yummy, soft energy to your body. So let go of the stiffness. Today is forgiveness. We need to find a malleability, a mobility. And the best way to do that is to use the structure that I'm guiding, but for you to really make it your own. So there's a balance of that, of course. Finding freedom within the form. When you're ready, make your way to the top. Same thing in a way that feels good. So it might be tippy tiptoes today. You might work on your jump. You might just step up to the top ragdoll. We'll meet forward fold, feet hip width apart to start. Make sure you're not holding in the neck here. And then please start to find a deeper, more fuller breath here in Uttanasana. Awesome work. When you're ready, slowly begin to roll it up. Take your time. Mountain pose. Really feel this connection with your feet here firmly. And once again, see if you can really engage firm. Find stability in the lower body by drawing energy up through the midline. Maybe lifting the toes, depress into all four corners of the feet. Go through your checklist. Find that lift up through the front body, that grounding through the back body. See if you can really just right in this first mountain, just embody the pose in the best way you see fit. And then you gotta bring the breath here. Give the thinking mind a break. And let's really begin to let the breath take over. So nice and slow, inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. And then exhale, we're gonna tilt to the left. Left fingers are gonna come down and kind of like the seaweed arms earlier, just gonna come down and we'll reach right fingertips up and over to the left. Big stretch, see if you can keep weight pressing into both feet evenly. So there's awareness as you really press into the right heel. And then inhale all the way up, move with your breath. Exhale, rain the right fingertips down, send the left fingertips over towards the right. Lengthen through the crown, press into your left heel. And then inhale all the way up. And one more time to each side. Exhale. This time focus on hugging the lower ribs in, lengthening the tail down, tailbone down. So see if you can kind of counter this big arch in the spine and the lower back by hugging the lower ribs in. And inhale, come all the way up. And to the right. Fabulous. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, rain the fingertips down to interlace behind the tail. Go ahead and square off the wrists here to start just finding that stretch for the forearm in case they're a little tight. Loop the shoulders, inhale, open the chest. And then again, see if you can lengthen tailbone down, hug the lower ribs in and stand up as tall as possible, stretching the neck long. Inhale in, exhale, break free with a softness, with a grace, so release with control. And then we'll inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, rain it down. This time interlace opposite thumb on top, square the wrist. So it's gonna be the one that feels a bit weird. Draw them this time down and away. Work on finding that containment through the front body. And inhale, press into the heels, find length, really stretch the crown of the head up towards the sky. The energetic body now is getting turned on. Heyo lit, lighting it up. <laughs> Try to think of other ways to say that. All right, here we go. And then with control, with grace, inhale, lift, embody, lift your toes, all of your toes, lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, break free. <sighs> Wonderful, hands are gonna come together at the heart. Feet are gonna come together arch to arch. All right, from here, slide the left foot back and we're gonna work on two parallel lines here. Feet are straight. You're already gonna start to feel a nice stretch in the back of the calf where we did that massage. So root back through the left heel and allow your left toes to point towards the front left corner of the room or your mat. Then all this awesome work we've been doing on engaging, finding support from within, start to play with that here, hugging the lower ribs in, connecting to your center, drawing it in and up, pull the right hip crease back, and then last but not least, really find that lengthening of the tailbone down. So we're working in a way that we feel head over heart, heart over pelvis, pressing into that back foot. 
left inner thigh has a sweet inner spiral ro rotating towards the, the back edge of your mat as you lift your heart. Then, you know, take what works for you, leave what doesn't today, return to the breath. Return to the breath. <laughs> okay, here we go. Inhale, lift your sternum to your thumbs. Keep that lift as you swim the fingertips behind. Square the wrists just like we did before or work now to bring the palms together. Then wrap the shoulder blades around, lift your heart even more, long puppy belly here, strong legs, engage your inner thighs, and then exhale slowly from the hip crease, send your heart forward, tail back. Nice, long, beautiful neck here the whole way down so we're not collapsing. Working into pyramid pose. So this can be a tricky pose, so bring the breath, bring this lift up through your heart, and see if you can kind of pulse with the breath here. This is tricky. Press into the back heel. Lift from your arches. Find a forgiveness in this stiff and sometimes frustrating pose. Do the work. Breathe deep. One more breath here. You got this. Reach the knuckles back, crown forward. Wonderful. Then exhale, break free, just like we did before with grace. Find a softness, and we'll bring the fingertips either down to the shin, if you have a block handy, great, or all the way to your yoga mat. Then inhale to find length, and exhale to let the head soften, the neck loosen up. See if you can keep a strong back leg here. Again, inner thighs engaged. Careful not to grip in the toes. All right, now walk your front foot to the midline just a bit, and then begin to soften through that front knee. Then lift the back heel, bend the back knee, and find soft, easy movement. Again, think about the seaweed, a forgiving movement. Begin to lift up through your center, and when you're ready, lift the back foot. Lift from your left inner thigh, standing splits. You got this. Breathing deep. Connecting to your center, your core. If you want to take a variation here, you can. Maybe wrapping the hands around the backs, uh, excuse me, the back of the leg. Turn your left pinky toe down and breathe full, buoyant breaths. One more breath here, you got this. Then slowly bend that back knee, bend the front knee, and step your left foot to the right of your right foot. So we're coming into a crisscross forward fold. Big stretch here, relax the head, maybe draw your nose towards your navel. And study the sensations in the legs, keep the feet firmly planted. Then we're gonna roll it up here while keeping the ball joint of the big toes and the back two corners of the heels rooted strong. So really press your feet into the earth and begin to roll it up. Squeeze the thighs together, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hands come to heart center, deep breath in. And then exhale, try to do this without looking down. Soften and we'll come back to mountain by bringing the left foot around and back to meet the right. Awesome work, slowly inhale in, slide the right foot back. Work on two parallel lines here, and take your time finding a nice, strong foundation. So right toes are gonna to point towards the front right corner of the room. Left toes point forward. And we go through our checklist here, finding that support from within. This integrity rooting through the back heel, really feeling that stretch in the calf. Begin to engage the inner thighs, and then zip up through the front body as you lengthen tailbone down. Hands come to the heart if they are not already, just as one last reminder to keep the sternum lifted. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Perhaps imagine bringing the front edge of your mat and the back edge of your mat together. So you're really working here. We're not just blast playing all our energy out, but we're really controlling the energy so that we can use it in a meaningful way. I don't know if that resonates with anyone, but instead of just letting it all spill out, we're, we're having an awareness about that energy and how awesome and powerful we are. And we do have the power to find forgiveness. And if we can forgive ourselves, then we can forgive just about anything, I think. I contemplate on that anyway. Inhale. 
Exhale, time to shut up, Adrian. Let's do the yoga. Just kidding. <laughs> Reach around, opposite thumb on top. You can square the wrist just like we did before or bring the palms together. Loop the shoulders. I'm just kidding, we know it's all the same thing, yes. That's what the revolution's all about, this opportunity to start fresh, to move around again in a new way, to think of things with more consciousness and to be healthy and happy and lean in our bodies. Okay, here we go. Keep the heart lifted as you slowly send it forward. Pull the left hip crease back. Feel the power of that back leg rooted strong as you move slowly and mindfully into pyramid posture. And we use the breath here to find a buoyancy, to find length. Imagine one nice long line from the crown to the tail. And all the work we've been doing up until this moment of bringing the heart space up between the shoulder blades, of lifting the front body to the back body, of moving as one continuous part, not a bunch of disjointed parts. Tap into that now. Use your breath to find a buoyancy. Engage the inner thighs. One more breath. You got this. And then exhale, break free the chains, find forgiveness. Break free the chains and then release all the way down, fingertips to your leg or to the earth. And then find length, inhale, and then exhale, soften and bow. You can shake the head loose here, keep strength and power in that back leg. And study the sensations. Notice how with every conscious and mindful breath. The muscles have an opportunity to lengthen. The pose becomes more forgiving. With time and breath and a little love. Then walk your front foot in toward the midline just a bit. Soften through that front knee, lift the back heel, bend your right knee, and before you step it up, just find, or before you lift it up, find a softness. Again, balancing that stira, that sukha, perfect for standing split. And then when you're ready, lift the back leg up. And then maybe it doesn't come up as high as mine. Maybe it comes up way high and you're not leveling the hips. So turn the toes down so the right pinky toe is facing your yoga mat. And then you can play in different variations here, of course, but we're wanting to lift the right inner thigh up, keeping the hips level, the glutes leveled, not gripping in the toes, finding breath. Again, nice softness in the upper body, not gripping in the face. And then you have the stability, the work of the lower body. Take one more breath and soften, bend the knees, bend the back knee and step the right foot now to the left of your left foot. Crisscross forward fold. And find your foundation in the feet here firmly and let the head loose, shake it a little back and forth. And then come on now, bring some loving full breath to the shape. Notice how you feel with each breath. So great for the back, so great for the legs. With the head below the heart here, so great for energy. Letting go of any stress, tension, any energy that is stagnant or stuck. And stay connected to your feet, start to roll it up. So press into your heels, press into the big toe mounds, tuck the chin into the chest and roll it up. Pay attention to what's going on in the hips. Squeeze the legs together, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And you'll come all the way up, bring the hands to the heart center. And then without looking, see if you can do it without looking, just feel it out, trust. And if you need to keep your foot on the ground for stability, go ahead and just slide it. We're gonna bring the feet back together. Mountain pose. Awesome, big breath in. Big breath, release it out through the mouth. Keep it going, big breath in through the nose. 
and out through the mouth. Now on this next one, I want you to scare anyone that might be in a mile radius. So we're gonna sigh it out. Big breath in. And exhale, let it go. And let's do one more. Big breath in. Don't let yourself down. Here we go. Let something go. All right, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Let me give thanks for this practice. If you have time, take a seat, come into a little meditation posture. If you have time, come to the ground, lay down in Shavasana for a couple moments after this practice. The power of forgiveness, the power of movement. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.